What's going on everyone? This is Jacob here. Today I wanted to talk about the very first app that I made and how it failed, uh, especially financially. So I wanted to talk about, you know, back in the day when I did make mobile apps, um, I made one. I made one mobile app, it was a video game and it was called Squares, okay? It was a puzzle multiplayer sort of game, but you could also play against uh, computers as well. And basically the goal of the game was to make a square. And if you made a square, you got a point. There was a grid of dots in the game. You would connect the dots by clicking in between them and a line would be placed. And if you made a square, you would get one point. Uh, you could also sometimes make double squares and triple squares depending on the play uh, you made. So I wanted to talk about uh, how is it failure and 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 the, the things that I've learned from making that app. So I made squares probably about four or five years ago and it was on the Android and iOS app store. Um, and my, I, my goal was to release a game. It was to code a game and release it on the app store. I wanted to make a mobile game. They were just at the time they were popping, you know, Clash of Clans uh, was was huge and I really wanted to try and, and taste some of that, you know, popularity. So I was like, you know what? I really want to make a mobile game. I haven't made one before. Um, I've made games in the past uh, using say Unreal Engine. Um, I made a couple desktop games, but they were more hobby games. They weren't really serious. This one was serious and I wanted to publish it on the Play Store. That was my goal. So I started learning how to code it. I wanted to make something simple. I was like, all right, let's just do a puzzle game. They're pretty simple and um, Actually, I was in college at the time and we did have a game development class where we actually had to make a game uh, for our final project. And what I did was I, I made the basis of squares in that class. So it actually uh, saved me, I guess, a little bit of time. But um, after that class, when I presented it um, and stuff like that, I took that base code and built on top of that. So it took me probably about four to five months to complete it from there. I probably put, you know, maybe a thousand hours into it, probably more um, into the game. And it was very challenging. I did end up adding multiplayer so you could play against your friends and opponents online and matchmaking. Uh, so it was very, very complex. The game rules were pretty simple, um, but there was a lot of fine details when it came to the online sort of things and adding multiplayer. Uh, it was very complex. So I put lots of hours, lots of late nights into it. And then, you know, actually working on the design, adding in the colors, the menu, the interface. It was a whole game. It, it was, you know, um, I had everything in it and I put a lot of blood, sweat and tears into it. And I thought I was going to make some money. I thought I was going to do well and, and make some, you know, a couple hundred bucks at least. And um, so I, I released the game um, on the, once again, Google Play Store and iOS App Store. iOS took a little bit longer. Their Apple's a bit more strict with their um, requirements for apps. So that it delayed that release by a week and it actually hurt me because um, some of my friends, most of my friends probably have Apple devices and they couldn't play the game until a week later. But anyways, I launched the game. I told all my friends about it. Um, I posted on social media, on Facebook and Instagram saying, hey, Squares is released. It's done, it's live, check it out here, download it. Even made a, a simple YouTube video as well. And I thought it was gonna do well. Um, so after I released it, I logged in, I, I saw some people logged in and they were playing against each other. It was really cool to see and, and definitely um, inspired me a lot. It was cool that other people were using my product and uh, it put a smile to my face for sure to see other people online. I played against a couple of my friends that day uh, when I launched. Um, I saw the leaderboard popping up. I had a little leaderboard too of, of who had the most wins. So that was great. And then after that day, boom, nothing, you know, uh, no one was playing. I think I got, you know, maybe 30 downloads the first day and then I'd get like two or three downloads a week. So it was very slow um, and it definitely, you know, I was definitely hurt by it for sure. I mean, it was my first app. I was like, you know, 19, 20 years old um, and I was like, you know, it, it definitely hit me hard for sure and I wasn't expecting it. So anyways, in terms of a failure, I mean, I, I guess I could say it was a financial failure. I did add... Uh, I believe it was, I added some type of ad service with Google and, and Apple where ads would play on my app and I didn't make any money from that zero at all. I don't think anyone clicked on an ad at all. Um, but yeah, I didn't make any money. I spent, you know, thousands of hours into it. Um, so financially it was a huge failure and was it a waste of my time? 
I don't think so. I learned a lot from building that game, from building squares, um, you know, from simply, you know, uh, building a rules-based puzzle game, all the conditions with that, adding multiplayer, adding design, uh, 3D objects in a menu, um, you know, thinking about how the user would, would use this game and, and enjoy it. And I learned a ton. It was a ton of knowledge. I, I would say it was a tuition to what I have now with my company, We Trade HQ, and obviously my trading bot, which you guys have seen. Um, it was a tuition, you know, in time per se. Um, but I, I'm, I'm very glad that I got through that failure. And um, I think now it has like 800 or 900 downloads. Um, so it, it was pretty good. But, um, you know, I, I definitely was overzealous. I was over hyped about the game. I thought it would do better. And I needed to lower my expectations, I think, uh, to not get so caught up in, oh, how many downloads did I get today? Or, you know, how much money did I make? You, you know, I got caught up too much in that. And it definitely put me in a spiral uh, down for sure. But, you know, overall, it was an amazing learning exper experience. And it, it made me who I was today. And I think everyone, everyone that's watching this video should go, you know, do something for the first time, like make an app or or think of something challenging and just try and do it and see what happens. And, um, you know, for me, you know, yes, I, I didn't make any money, but maybe for you, you will. And um, I think from lessons learned from it, for, so if I were to say the mistakes that I made with making this first app, um, I would say number one, I made it too complex. Um, you know, I was only a one person team, so I didn't have the resources to make stuff complex. I think I could have um, dummied down a lot of the features, um, still made it appealing, but but just dummied down the features and the functionality, made it a bit smaller and maybe build on top of it as I released it and maybe was making some revenue. Number two, definitely monetization. Um, I didn't think of how I can monetize the game. I thought, I mean, my, my idea of monetization was simply putting ads on it and running it. Um, and that can work for some games if they get very, very popular and you're, you know, you're getting millions of downloads because you're getting lots of views. But um, my game was not good enough, obviously, to, to get that many downloads. So um, I didn't think of how to monetize it. I knew it had to be free because, you know, no one pays for apps anymore. So I knew the game had to be free for sure. But I, I probably could have added some in-game transactions in there um, and, and some maybe updates and features and, and upgrades where you could upgrade your squares or make them look cool and shiny and stuff like that. So monetization, I didn't really think of that. Um, and then, you know, I would say number three, the, the last mistake I made was not really uh, collaborating with anyone. You know, I worked on it myself, which there's no issue with, but I wish it would have been great if I could work with someone else who was as motivated with me to A, get it done faster and B, learn from them um, and really put our brains together. Because I feel like when you work as a team, you get at the end of the day, you kind of go farther than just by yourself. So um, I really wished I worked with someone and collaborated with another developer. I think the game would have been uh, a much bigger hit um, and, you know, not a financial failure per se. So anyways, um, overall, yes, my first app did fail, but it was a great learning experience for me. And I'm glad I, I did it, you know, of the, you know, whatever, seven, eight months it took me, four months in school and then four months after that. I learned a ton and it made me who I am today and allowed me to start my current company um, and, and give me the knowledge to to at least start a, a trading bot uh, by going through that experience and building that game. So uh, once again, hope you guys enjoyed this video and found value in it. If you did, uh, please leave a like and comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Let me know uh, if you guys have made any apps and let me know uh, any of the stuff that you've learned from this video that you're gonna use that to uh, make your next killer app, okay? We'll see you in the next video next week and have a good one, guys.